Any electrical system, large or small, at some time or another experiences disturbances and failures. In a transmission and distribution system, disturbances and failures can damage system equipment and interrupt customer service. So transmission and distribution systems have equipment that is designed to minimize the effects of disturbances and failures. This control equipment helps us limit the number of customers affected by a given disturbance and minimize the time that they're affected. Control equipment also helps us limit damage to our system's equipment. Now in this program, we're going to look at substation control. We'll find out why control is needed, what equipment is used to provide the control, and basically how it works. There are two principal reasons why control is needed in substations. One reason is to maintain the efficiency of our electrical system. Now our customer's equipment is designed to run at specific voltages, so we control voltage to provide our customers with power at acceptable voltage levels. Another reason for control is to protect our electrical system from the effects of faults. For example, a fault on a substation bus could generate extreme heat if it's not quickly isolated. And this heat could severely damage station equipment. In this part of the program, we're going to look at several ways control is provided and see the equipment that is typically used. One method of control is manual local control. With this method, control is provided by manually operating equipment at the substation. Another method of station control is automatic local control. With this method, control is provided by equipment in the station that automatically operates other equipment in the station. Yet another method of control is manual remote control. Manual remote control means that personnel monitor and control equipment and conditions at various stations from a central location. A final method of control is automatic remote control. With this method, some conditions, such as voltage, may be controlled automatically at a remote control center. In general, control equipment can be grouped into four categories, which are sensing equipment, measuring equipment, controlling equipment, and final control equipment. Thank you.